Thank you for purchasing a Keystone product. To help ensure top performance and safety as you enjoy the freedom of the open road, we've developed this video to help make you aware of some important maintenance requirements for the wheels of your recreational vehicle. In this video, we'll show you how to maintain proper lug nut torque by following these important steps. Check torque before every trip. Use proper tools. Follow the appropriate star pattern sequence and torque lug nuts in the correct stages and follow-up intervals after any wheel reinstallation. The axle and wheel assemblies on your RV are designed and maintained differently than that of your car. The overall size, weight, and center of gravity of a recreational vehicle subject the wheels to pressures unique to trailering. As shown, during normal cornering, the tires and wheels experience considerable stress called side load. Due to the effects of side load on the axles and wheels, the lug nuts of your recreational vehicle require periodic retorquing. As we begin this instruction, it may be helpful for you to have the axle manufacturer's owner's manual that accompanied your unit, so you can use the charts in the manual as a reference when performing service or maintenance on your recreational vehicle. The amount of rotating force applied to a fastener, such as a lug nut, is called torque. Proper torque of lug nuts can only be achieved using a torque wrench and a socket. Both tools can be purchased from your local auto parts store. Be sure the wrench you choose has the ability to apply at least 150 foot-pounds of torque. Note that some wheel assemblies may require an extension. Be sure not to use a flexible extension. Do not use a four-way socket or any other type of wrench which does not measure the actual pressure applied to the lug nut. There are two common types of torque wrenches. The dial indicator torque wrench has a round dial that leaves a needle at the point of highest torque achieved. To set the desired torque on the dial indicator wrench, make sure your indicator needle is set to zero. As you apply clockwise pressure to the lug nut, both needles will show the current amount of torque being applied. When you reach your desired torque value, stop applying pressure and your indicator needle will stay at the highest torque value reached. The most common wrench is the adjustable dial torque wrench, which is often referred to as a clicker type because of the clicking noise it makes when it reaches the desired preset torque value. To set the torque on the adjustable dial wrench, unlock the handle and set the dial to the desired torque value. Then relock the handle. As you apply clockwise pressure to the lug nut, you'll hear an audible click when the desired torque value is reached. Do not apply any further pressure once you hear the click. Most torque wrenches are required to be set at zero when not in use to maintain calibration. Please refer to the torque wrench manufacturer's instructions for further information on use and maintenance. As a part of each pre-trip inspection, it's important that you check the lug nut torque before every trip. Keystone RV recommends this maintenance procedure to ensure that proper torque has been applied to the lug nuts before heading out on the road. Using a torque wrench, the lug nut should be torqued to 110 to 120 foot-pounds on all units except the Cambridge, which requires 140 to 150 foot-pounds of torque. This is due to the use of a 9 16 inch stud versus a half inch stud on all other units. Never exceed the maximum force mentioned when tightening wheel lug nuts. When executing the torque process, it is critical that you follow a star pattern. This will assure that uniform pressure is applied to the wheel and hub. For eight hole wheels, begin with the lug nut closest to the 12 o'clock position and proceed with the star pattern demonstrated. For wheels with five and six holes, you will follow a similar pattern. Complete this procedure on each wheel. As you move to each new wheel, verify your torque wrench value before you begin the torque process. 
Please remember, under or over torque of wheel lug nuts can cause the wheel to separate from the axle and could lead to property damage, serious injury, or loss of life. Because the wheels on your RV are especially susceptible to loosening lug nuts after wheel removal and reinstallation, and because certain maintenance procedures require removal of the wheel, we will discuss the proper reinstallation procedures. After removing a wheel from your unit for any reason, you must carefully follow a two-step process, wheel reinstallation and follow-up. Before reinstalling the wheel, you should carefully inspect wheel and hub surfaces for damage and be sure all surfaces are clean. When reinstalling the wheel, every effort should be made to match the same studs and holes as when it was removed. Therefore, you may want to mark the stud and rim of one bolt before wheel removal. During wheel reinstallation, the lug nut torque must be applied in three stages. Following these steps will help assure the wheel studs are centered in the wheel holes and will help the lug nuts maintain proper torque. First, start all lug nuts by hand. Then, preset your torque wrench to 20 to 30 foot-pounds for stage one, 50 to 60 foot-pounds for the Cambridge, which uses a 9 16 inch stud versus a half inch stud. For eight whole wheels, begin with the lug nut closest to the 12 o'clock position and proceed with the star pattern demonstrated. For wheels with five and six holes, you'll follow a similar pattern. Refer to your axle manufacturer's owner's manual for detailed diagrams of each star pattern sequence. Before you begin stage two, preset your torque wrench to 55 to 60 foot pounds, 90 to 100 foot pounds for the Cambridge. Apply torque to all lug nuts following the star pattern. After stage two, the wheel is secure enough to support the weight of the trailer and can be lowered off of the jack stands. For stage three, preset your torque wrench to 110 to 120 foot-pounds, 140 to 150 foot-pounds for the Cambridge. Apply torque to all lug nuts in a star pattern. Unlike your car, the wheels on your recreational vehicle must support stresses unique to trailering during normal operation. Therefore, to ensure the lug nuts maintain proper torque, it is critical that you repeat stage three of the torque process after driving your unit 10, 25, and 50 miles following any wheel reinstallation. Pull your recreational vehicle off the road into a safe work area and begin the follow-up process. Begin by setting your torque wrench to 110 to 120 foot-pounds, 140 to 150 foot-pounds for the Cambridge. Starting with the lug nuts closest to the 12 o'clock position, apply torque to all lug nuts in a star pattern. After you've reapplied torque at 10, 25, and 50 miles, the follow-up process is complete and you can refer to the general lug nut torque maintenance process described earlier. Please remember, under or over torque of wheel lug nuts can cause the wheel to separate from the axle and could lead to property damage, serious injury, or loss of life. Checking torque before every trip as part of regular wheel lug nut torque maintenance and after reinstalling a wheel is the best way to ensure safety and to optimize the performance of your RV. Remember, to maintain proper lug nut torque you should check torque before every trip, use proper tools, follow the appropriate star pattern sequence, and torque lug nuts in the correct stages and follow-up intervals. For questions regarding wheel and axle maintenance, please refer to your Keystone Owner's Manual, the Axle Manufacturer's Owner's Manual, contact your dealer, or feel free to contact us at 877-U-TORQUE. Thank you again for buying a Keystone product and for taking the time to view this video. We hope you enjoy many more miles of safe travel in your Keystone RV.